So let's talk about vascular components of the kidney. We're going to have a renal artery, which branches into segmental arteries. And the segmental arteries, so segmental here, become lobar arteries, like this. And then the lobar arteries become interlobar arteries, like that. Then right at the top of the renal pyramids, the interlobar arteries make arcuate arteries. They're arcing across the, the renal pyramid. And from those arcuate arteries, we get cortical radiate arteries, which are going to go out and supply the afferent arterioles for each renal corpuscle. Same thing with the venous drainage. There'll be a cortical radiate vein, arcuate vein, and then interlobar, lobar, and segmental veins going back to one or more renal veins.